Today we're going to look at how you can use our free virtual manipulatives available on the Didax website in a course in the Canvas Learning Management System. You'll find a link to these tools right on our homepage, as well as some free activities that use the manipulatives. You'll also find this tool, which includes the HTML coding you'll need to embed the manipulatives right in your course. All right, so we're going to look at two different ways that you can embed the virtual manipulatives into your course in Canvas. Now, every Canvas installation is a little bit different, and so yours might behave a little bit differently. If the process we go through here doesn't work for you, you need to contact your Canvas administrator uh, and talk to them about what you're trying to do, and, and they can hopefully help you uh, get that set up. But we found this works in most Canvas courses. So I have set up here a sample course, the sample module. First, I'm going to show you how we can do this uh, as a page. So I'm going to add a page uh, to my module. And I'm going to call this virtual manipulatives. And I will add that item. And then I'm going to go into this page. I just created and edit the page. Now once I'm in the page I can then go in and add the uh, HTML code that will allow me to show the virtual manipulatives. Now I might write something about which one this is. We're going to call this uh, virtual two color counters. And then I can go into my HTML editor right up here and click on this and uh, after the last entry that's in there I can copy and paste the code. Now I already grabbed that code earlier so I'm just going to hit paste right here and it's going to drop the source code in for that iframe into my page. These numbers, the 720 wide, 480 high, they're not fixed numbers. If you find a number that works better for you than this you can certainly change that but we're going to go for it with that right now and I'm going to go ahead and click save now that I've got that in there and when it previews the page for me now I can see here are my virtual two color counters and they work just like I was on the Didax website now the other way that we can do this I'm going to go back to my modules here and actually I'm going to add an assignment this time rather than the modules uh, so I'm going to create a new assignment and I'm going to call this uh, exploring equivalent fractions. Okay, and uh, I'm going to give my students some instruction. Uh, use the virtual manipulatives below to help you explore fractions download the worksheet here and after we fix these uh, I'm gonna link a file and I have a file here equivalent fractions practice okay. so we've got that in and then I can come back to my HTML editor I click up there again and then at the end, I just want to paste that same source code in uh, for the two color counters. And I can change any other settings I want with this assignment. I can make it worth you know, 100 points or 50 points or however you want to do it. You can have them resubmit the worksheet however you choose to do that. Um, and then I can go ahead and save this. Oh, and I'm just going to have them submit a file upload uh, when they're done. So I hit save, and again, now I have my virtual tool here that I can use just like I was there on the website. Thanks for watching, and remember that you can access all our free virtual manipulatives on our website, www.didax.com.